ask you about the $30 million that you invested into Israel after October 7th. What did you invest in? Israel. What is that going to? This is my tax dollars that you're investing. You're the treasurer, so I would like to know what are those bonds going for. And why are you investing in a genocidal nation? Like, look at our public schools in Chicago. Look at our roads. You have homeless people on every corner. So what is that $30 million you invested in? Can you answer my question? I, I just did. No, you I didn't. Did. What are those Israeli bonds going for? Excuse me, I'm so sorry. What are those Israeli bonds Please don't touch me. What are those Israeli bonds going for? Michael Frerich! Michael Frerich! Since taking office, you've invested $120 million of Illinois money into, into Israel! $30 million! Which came after October 7th! This is our community's money that you're investing into a genocidal expansionist colonial state! I just went to a fundraiser event that was held by Mike Frerich. He's the state treasurer of Illinois. He's invested $85 million total in Israel bonds and $30 million post-October 7th. They didn't have to go through anybody to make the $30 million investment. So I asked him, what is that $30 million going towards? And he said, Israel. And I said, what does that mean? What is, what is going towards Israel? What are you putting that money towards? And he couldn't answer my question and he kept walking away from me. And these are our tax dollars that he's using to make these investments. He can't tell me what these investments are actually going towards. He just knows he's investing in the state of Israel. My name is Kim and I'm a progressive Democrat and I bought a ticket to this fundraiser and I met this woman. She was trying to talk to Michael Frerichs and people came in and said she couldn't have a political discussion here. She bought a ticket just like I did. For 15 minutes I talked to Michael Frerichs about why he's invested in Israel bonds. And when she tried to talk, they tried to muscle her away. So I kept saying, Michael, 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 listen to her. She's a Palestinian. She's lost people. Listen to her, listen to her. He said he would talk to Palestinians. He didn't want to do it now. And then she and I got escorted out.